Hi guys, welcome to my channel Tech Geeky RP. In this video, we are going to discuss SQL script where clause. Where clause is always used with select and from, and it is used to fetch some data where a condition is given. So syntax is select a column or multiple column from a table, and where after where we have to give a condition. Let me give you an example. So here we have this Sakila database file and inside this file we have this actor table. And here is the actor table. We have given four columns, actor ID, first name, last name and last update. First name and last name are given in text. This kind of data is called as varchar or text. So we have to fetch the data where first name is Penelope. So for that, we will write the query. Like first, we will write select, and after select, we we can give a column name or we can give multiple column names, and the column name should be separated by a comma. Then we will write from, and after from, we have to write the name of the table. So table name, the pattern is first we write database file name, like here it is Sakila, and dot table name. Which is the actor. So Sakila dot actor, and then we will write the where. And our condition is where first name is Penelope. So we will type in uh, first name and last name are given as varchar or text. So we need to enclose this data with quotation mark. We can use single quote or double quote. It does not matter. So here I am using single quotes. So our whole query is select first name, last name from Sakila dot actor where first name equal Penelope. So let's execute this query. And you can see here this table is showing only two columns, first name and last name, with the first name Penelope. If you want to select all the columns, means all four columns, in that case you don't need to write all the column names. Instead, you will just write star. So query will be select star from Sakila dot actor where first name equals Penelope. Let's execute this. And here you can see all the columns: actor ID, first name, last name, and last update with the first name Penelope. While giving condition, we can also use operators. There are three kinds of basic operator first one is equal sign the second one is less than and the third one is greater than let me show you so let's take another table here is the city table in the city table you can see there are again four columns city id city country id and last of these so here we can write where clause same way so select a star means we are selecting all the columns from sakila.ct file name dot table name and we can give where clause here like we can say country id equals 100 so we want to fetch a data where country id equals 100 so country id equals 100. so country id is a numerical data which is called as integer or int we don't enclose this kind of data with quotation marks. So don't use quote marks here. Let's execute this query. Here you can see result is showing all the columns, all the four columns with country ID equals to 100. Uh, we can also select only two columns like city separated by comma country ID where country ID is less than 100. Let's execute this query and you can see the result here only two columns are showing city and country id. All the cities are given where country id is less than 100. Okay, same way we can use greater than operator. So we will change less than operator to the greater than operator. So our query will be select city country id 
from sakila.cp where country id is greater than 100 let's execute this query and here you can see all the city names with the country id greater than 100 sometimes we need to use between command let me show you how we will use it country id Hundred, fifty, fifty, and we, here we need to and command also. So with the between we need to use and operator also. So our query will be select city comma country ID from Sakila dot city where country ID between fifty and sixty. Let's execute this command. Here you can see all the city names with country ID 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 and up to 60. You can also select all the columns without writing its name using star sign. So I'm going to put select a star from circular.cp where country ID between 50 and 60. So here we have all the columns. Now we can also use, now suppose you want country names for particular country IDs, more than one country IDs. In that case we use in command or in operator. Suppose we want country names for country IDs 55 and 65 and 75. In that case we will write this as in we need to make a list of all the country IDs for the list we will write 55 comma 65 comma 75 select a star from sakila.cp where country ID in 55 65 75 let's execute this query and here we have all the columns for 55, 65, 75, country ID. So this way you can use where, between, in clauses to fetch some data from a table in a database file. I hope you like this video. Please hit like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.